LG has been hitting the smartphone market with full force of late. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the LG Optimus G Pro versus the Google Nexus 4. LG is dead set on making a name for itself in the upper end of the smartphone market, winning over the hearts of everyone and replicating the success of a device like the Galaxy S3 by Samsung. It has created high-end smartphones of its own, such as the Optimus G, and a high-end Nexus phone to be sold and branded by Google. And now it's reaching into the phablet category to give the Galaxy Note 2 some stiff competition. But side by side with its relatively close sibling, these two devices have next to nothing in common. The Google Nexus 4 was a device built upon the openness of Android, offering the purest Google experience in a smartphone. The LG Optimus G Pro is a direct Galaxy Note 2 competitor and shows how uninspired LG design can be at times. Although manufactured by the same company, the Optimus G Pro and the Nexus 4 offer two totally different experiences and target two totally different types of consumers. The first of these major differences is design. When it was originally announced, the Nexus 4 was revealed to be a near Galaxy Nexus lookalike. It features the same shape, about the same size, and similar button and port placement. Its 4.7 inch display lends to its modest size, and the build quality, for a $300 phone no less, is superb. The soft touch plastic around the edges gives it a grippy feel, and the glass slab around back gives it a touch of premium quality. In terms of design and build quality, there is little to complain about with the Nexus 4, except for maybe the fragile glass around back, which is pretty easily remedied. The Optimus G Pro is an entirely different story. Think Samsung build quality and overuse of cheap plastics, then think of a device feeling even more cheap and insubstantial. Its large stature is not complemented by the expected heft. Its back, unlike the Nexus 4 or Optimus G, is all plastic. The trim around the outer edge is plastic, a faux brushed metal as seen on many Samsung Galaxy devices. And it features a physical home button flanked by two capacitive buttons for back and menu, another Samsung feature. Where the glass back on the Nexus 4 means the battery is integrated, non-removable, the plastic battery door in the Optimus G Pro allows for popping in a spare battery. That is one of the few benefits of a plastic device. One feature that cannot go unmentioned is the display. The Optimus G Pro features a giant 5.5 inch display with a monster resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, a density of 401 pixels per inch. The display on the Nexus 4 is a 4.7 inch 720p panel. The difference is noticeable. The picture on the Optimus G Pro is noticeably sharper and colors tend to pop a little more, which is likely due to the poor calibration on the Nexus 4's display. But the differences in these panels are not terribly dramatic, considering the Nexus 4 still has a relatively high pixel density at 318 pixels per inch. The true reason why the display matters so much on these devices is, well, size. The 4.7 inch display on the Nexus 4 makes it a much more manageable device, particularly for one-handed use. I can easily slip it in and out of my pocket and use the device with one hand without a problem. The 5.5 inch display on the Optimus G Pro makes it noticeably more unwieldy, especially for anything but two-handed use. Its 16:9 aspect ratio makes the display quite tall and narrow, and it forces the user to stretch their thumbs and kills any hope of touching all four corners without choking up and adjusting grip. This is one of the largest, if not the largest, determining factors between these two smartphones. Other than that, however, we're left with a host of specification differences. The Nexus 4 comes with a 1.5 GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset, 2 GB of RAM, either 8 or 16 GB of built-in storage with no option for expansion, an 8 megapixel camera, a 2100 mAh battery, and HSP Plus connectivity. The Optimus G Pro features a 1.7 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 chipset, 2 GB of RAM, 32 GB of built-in storage, a microSD card slot for expansion, 13.1 megapixel camera, 3140 mAh battery, and HSP Plus and LTE connectivity though the band support is quite limited on this Korean model. Both also feature Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, and wireless charging. Strictly in terms of build quality and design, the Nexus 4 wins hands down. It's hard to believe these two devices were manufactured by the same company. At least on paper, the Optimus G Pro has the advantage in display density and resolution, horsepower, storage, and connectivity. There are next to no compromises with LG's phablet, unless you consider mediocre build quality a compromise. Once you dig into the software, the differences continue to pile up. Google's precious Nexus 4 is as pure as pure gets. Updates come directly from Google, pure, unadulterated Android, exactly as it was intended to look and feel. The home screen's settings application, notification shade, and recent apps function are all clean and unified. The software on the Optimus G Pro is entirely the opposite of that. It appears to be inspired by nature, not unlike Samsung's TouchOS Nature UX. 
incorporating nature wallpapers and even nature-inspired elements like a water droplet lock screen animation. Every element from the home screen and the icons to the settings application has been heavily themed and customized. The settings app, for example, is tabbed and divided into four subsections, networks, sound, display, and general, and the interface elements are pulled in all different directions. The notification shade is various shades of gray with light blue accents. The tabs in the settings app are the same gray with the same blue accent, but the rest is white, unlike anything else in the UI. And the tabs within the application drawer are a similar gray, but they're textured. On top of all that, the Nexus 4 comes with only the essentials pre-installed. The absolute bare minimum you will ever see on any Android software, excluding customized ROMs. The Optimus Geek Pro comes with a staggering 83 applications pre-installed. That number, of course, includes the essentials, such as camera, the dialer, or contacts. But those are only a fraction of the pre-installed applications. LG has included practically everything under the sun out of the box. Q Translator, MeChat, Smart Wallet, and a host of other applications and services, and only some of these can be uninstalled. The upside is that LG software does bring some benefits, such as QSlide apps, which are miniature applications for calendar, calculator, memo, internet, etc., that hover atop other applications for an extensive multitasking experience. It also has quiet time, not unlike Samsung's blocking mode. If you're in search of a nice, solid, consistent experience, neither phone will disappoint. The Nexus 4 is bare bones by nature and leaves the customization entirely to the user. The Optimus G Pro, on the other hand, comes with everything shy of the kitchen sink preloaded, with a few unique features. Performance is an area neither of these two smartphones shy away from. Although the Nexus 4 is sporting last year's Qualcomm chipset, the Snapdragon S4 Pro, it's certainly more than capable of handling the common everyday tasks, and even most of the more laborious ones. Using synthetic benchmarks, the Optimus G Pro is the clear winner. Using N22, the Optimus G Pro consistently scored around 20,000, though the Nexus 4 still averaged a respectable 17,000. And in the Quadrant Standard Test, the Optimus G Pro managed an impressive 12,000, give or take, while the Nexus 4 averaged around 4,500. But those are only benchmarks, which hardly translate to real-world performance. The Nexus 4 and the Optimus G Pro slice through the normal workload like butter, and in most cases, gaming is a pleasure, though there are some games that we found that slow the Nexus 4 down just a bit. Battery life is, unfortunately, still an unknown on the Optimus G Pro, as it just arrived yesterday. Inside, the Nexus 4 has a 2100mAh battery that usually lasts most of the day, but if you have evening plans, that's not a bad idea to charge up before heading out. The Optimus G Pro has a monster 3100mAh battery inside, and while the stamina seems pretty great so far, it's too soon to tell for sure. The benefit, however, is the ability to swap out batteries with the Optimus G Pro. Its battery door is removable, and the Korea model at least comes with a spare battery and a battery charger, effectively doubling the battery life. Finally, cameras. Neither the Optimus G Pro or the Nexus 4 feature particularly amazing cameras. Both tend to produce washed out images that miss a ton of details. The Optimus G Pro has a clear advantage in the terms of output size, at 13 megapixels versus the Nexus 4's 8 megapixels, and the Optimus G Pro manages to produce more accurate images with truer to life colors. The Nexus 4 tends to overexpose more easily and creates warmer images. Particularly light images seem to have a pink hue to them, while the Optimus G Pro seems more balanced. All in all, neither camera is incredibly impressive, but they get the job done fairly well. At the end of the day, the Optimus G Pro and Nexus 4, although both manufactured by LG, are starkly different devices in design, hardware, use, and as overall products. The Optimus G Pro is geared towards consumers seeking a device that comes with as few compromises as possible, while the Nexus 4 is meant for people who are okay with making some sacrifices. For a price. The Nexus 4 was never the best device on paper, but it has always been the best in terms of value. The Optimus G Pro will appeal to those looking for an extra large device, such as the Galaxy Note 2 with 2013 specifications, and the Nexus 4 will continue to appeal to those looking to save a buck while still getting a fantastic device. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And you can follow us on all your favorite social networks, Google+, Plus, Twitter, and Facebook, at Pocket Now. Stay tuned for more Optimus G Pro coverage over the next week or so. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.